I'm here today with David Whitaker, CEO of Thread. David, thanks for your time. Thanks, David. Can you explain a little bit about the Thread business and how it's evolved to its current iteration? Thread began as a concept in about um, 2013, uh, in a, trying to find a way, a better way to share. The other thing is that we realised that the social media and messaging space was getting very noisy and very busy, and so we tried to imagine what a solution would look like that wrapped its arms around all of the social media players and all of the messaging apps. Can you explain what Thread's key selling point is? Thread allows you to create a group chat by connecting all of your contacts irrespective of where they're from. So at the moment if you are using Facebook and you want to connect to people through Facebook then that creates a silo. If you are using Twitter the same and LinkedIn the same. Using Thread you'll be able to create a group chat that allows you to connect to each of those people and include them in that single chat. And how competitive is this market? It seems to be like the holy grail of social media. Look, I mean, I think the messaging space is very hot um, and social media is growing at an incredible pace. What, uh, ironically, we're not seeing is the whole concept of inclusion, which is the basis of Thread. Are you able to give an idea of the scale and size of the global market for your product? If we're talking about inclusion of social media platforms and messaging apps, uh, the growth of those platforms is, is absolutely exponential. So we are talking, in the case of Facebook, 1.49 billion users globally, and that's just one platform. WhatsApp is 1.1 billion, and it scales down from there. So we are talking, and clearly there's overlap between the different platforms, which is one of the other points uh, of thread. But uh, it's billions and billions of people. Now, if you uh, then include the mobile revolution and the way that that's going into the emerging markets, then we are, we're, we're running at the beginning of the cycle, not at the end. In terms of your recent announcement with Microsoft, how important is that to the evolution of the Thread product? Microsoft have been uh, an incredible um, inclusive and open partner for us. So we've been working with them since the end of last year to look at how we could move our product across to the Azure platform and to integrate with that platform and their other clients who are using it. It's a game changer for us because Thread was initially conceived as a consumer-based product, whereas now we have a very strong B2B play, which has brought our road to revenue forward by at least 12 to 18 months. Now in terms of revenue, it's great to have a great idea, but how does Thread monetize its products? On the consumer side, um, again, talking about inclusion, so we will integrate um, with all of the social platforms, but the flip side to that is that we also integrate with companies that have services that they want to provide. So if you're having a conversation and we understand the context of that conversation, say for example you want to meet for coffee, well then because we will integrate to a company such as Starbucks, you'll be able to buy that coffee or book that table or get that Uber um, all from within the message conversation that you're having. So we'll get a clip of the ticket of those third party integrations. On the B2B side, then we move into a much more traditional, much more well-established uh, per seat, per month user basis. So you've entered into an RTO with Promessa, who is listed on the Australian Stock Exchange. What was the appeal of that as a route to market? Having been in IT for um, over 20 years now, I've raised a lot of capital through the years in Australia and in Asia, um, either through angel rounds or through funds or, or VCs. Um, the Australian Stock Exchange is proving to be a very solid ground to raise capital for IT. Um, we were introduced to the, uh, the management of Promesa uh, at the beginning of last year, so we started to look at it rather than go down the traditional VC route. So we were faced with a choice of going to the States and looking at, at VC uh, with our concept, which we felt would have been successful. Um, or to look at going this way. Given the, the maturity of the Australian IT market, um, I felt and, and I was able to convince my other directors that, that this was the best way to go and it's absolutely proven to be the case. In terms of milestones for the thread business moving forward, what should people be keeping an eye out for? Uh, we'll be announcing the public launch of our beta 
uh, within 90 days of requotation and thereafter we will be chasing hard for downloads um, and doing our, our beta launch in the secondary markets that we've chosen which will include Canada, New Zealand, Australia and Singapore. So after that uh, we'll then also be looking to further our third party partnerships. Uh, we have several that we're in discussions with at the moment that I think will be very exciting. David, thanks for your time. Thanks very much David.